welcome back. Today, I'm hoping there's some big old crappies up in here, maybe some big bluegills. We're basically, we're gonna do some fly fishing. I wanna break out the fly rod. I got her down on the floor over here. But uh, we're on this lake that has a lot of like little back coves and little bays and things like that. And in all these little bays, usually you can find some crappies stacked up right off the edge of the weeds. Um, and if you look at the lily pads, we have super tight lily pads and then they kind of break up off the edge over there. Um, that's what you want them to be targeting. You want to be casting to those. Maybe you can slip your jig right in between them. Um, you know, when you're jig fishing or slip bobbering right up on the edge. But I'm going to get the fly rod. We're going to start whipping up in there, see if we can't catch anything. Um, and if we can't get them to bite on the fly rod, maybe we'll just we'll throw jigs out there too and give it a shot. But <clears throat> right here, I would guess we're in about six to seven foot of water. Um, and then, you know, them fish are going to be up in about that four to five foot right on them edges. Um, the water temperature is maybe starting to cool down. We're getting a couple colder nights, things like that. But enough jibber jabbing. Let's start catching fish. Well, I've had this fly rod for quite some time now. I don't even know the specifics on it. Uh, Imperial Graphite, St. Croix, um, line weight five to six. So that's, uh, that's all about all I know on this fly rod. But, so... Holy smokes, we already got gills slapping it down there. So what we're running today is gonna to be this little gold jig. Um, right now, it's, it is, it does sink. So we're gonna to try to get this up in there and hopefully pull some crappies out. And don't, you guys can't judge the fly rod skills. Like I do this once a year, so no judging. Yeah. Get some line out here. And uh, I'm just going to try to get it up into the, into the edge there. So bear with me while I'm doing some getting it up there. We could probably throw a little jig up there and just snap them up instantly. But I, want, I like a little bit of a challenge. I like challenges, guys. But with that being said, the challenge of not being able to cast. To where I want to cast doesn't help. So I'm going to grab my remote and we're going to we're going to move a little bit. Well, fly rod isn't proving good right now, but you guys want to see something cool? There's some foxes. Let's look at some foxes for a second. There they are. Look at the little guys. Oh, that was pretty cool. Some foxes playing around. There we go. That's a good one. Fish on. Fish on. It's a rock bass. It's not even like fighting. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, a tiny rock bass. That's okay though, because we caught a fish. The skunk is out of the boat with a rock bass. Sweet, little rock bass ate the little fly. Fly even had some lily pad on it. He didn't care. All right, I'm going back to the spinning rod and I'm putting on old reliable chicken jig. If there's crappie in here, we'll find them with this. Then maybe we'll pull out the fly rod on them once we find a school of them. <laughs> maybe, or maybe we'll just keep catching them on the chicken jig. Maybe we won't catch any. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. But 
All right, I got a chicken jig tied on. This is the ticket. Let's catch a crappie now. It's go time. It is go time. There it is. Oh, it's a large mouth. It's okay though. Look at this guy. He just instantly hit the water and was like, I'm a bass, I'm gonna eat. Okay. I thought it was a crappie for like 0.5 of a second and then it jumped. That would have been a big one. Big old mouth on him. See you later, buddy. Bye. All right, let's get back in there. Same exact spot. Literally on the bubbles. There's one. What is this? Is this a crappie? Same exact. There's no way that bass went back that fast. It's another another large mouth. It's a little better one though. Large mouth. Maybe I should do the fly rod in there then. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Good fish. See you later, buddy. Well, we found the large mouth. Well, since the crappie aren't biting where I thought they would be biting, we're gonna go around until we find them and make them bite. Cause they're not in here. We're gonna go check out some other little bays and some little points and some weed edges. I'm on a crappie mission today. I'd like to catch like a 14 incher. Well, I didn't even get quite out of here and I noticed some nice tall weeds, the back of the boats in like seven foot of water right now. And these look really good. We're on a mission. So I'm gonna check them out. And I'm hoping big old crappie comes on out of here. I have no idea, no idea. It's just his textbook where they should be at. Bite, bite, bluegill. Um, holy perch. Okay, I thought my first bite was a bluegill. But we got a jumbo. That's a decent one. Not quite what we're after, but nice perch. See you later, bud. Get a basket of those, guy to have a good dinner. Let's try again. Come on. Well, I was like, ah, uh, and broke out the live scope. I found a crib, and it looks like we got some decent fish right underneath of us. So we're just gonna do some pinpoint with the live scope and just drop a chicken jig down really quick to the 12 feet. And uh, should be able to see the jig going down. There's the jig going down right there. Let's see if we can't snatch one of these fish up. Should have landed on that one's face. Got him. Yeah, I knew I landed close to him. <laughs> Live scope is wild, you guys. Live scope is wild. I wouldn't even cast it if I didn't see that fish. Yeah, I am fighting a giant fish right now. It's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. It's a real good one. I don't know what it is. What is this? Smally? Yep, smallmouth. About the same size as the last one. Woo, feisty. I guess I can put the net on ya. Solid fish. Solid.
Boom. Decent guy, couple pounder. Smack the jigging wrap. Careful, we got lots of hooks now. All right, well, there he is. Nice fish. Just snatched him up off the scope. Cool. Let's let him go. See you later, bud. Windy. Here's another one like five feet out. I'll go past him right there. I am. Scared him away. He didn't like that. Oh, he's following it. He's following it. He's chasing it. He's chasing it. There are fish. Me. Come back. There's me. Pow, pow. Where's he at? Come back. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. There we go. Feels decent. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It only took all day, but I finally found them on the weeds. Decent, 12 inch or maybe. See you later, bud. Okay. There we go. That one just smushed right into it. I didn't even feel it hit. Please be a giant crappie. Please be a giant crop. Uh, it's a decent one. Not a giant. Let's see, he's like another 12 incher. Oh, smokes, it's wind. Another good guy. See you later, buddy. Holy cow. There's one. This one feels good. Nope, smallest one yet. Well, the chicken jig is uh, doing some work again. We just gotta go where we go until we catch them. There weren't any fish anywhere else until we got to here. Some nice tall weeds that come out behind me and just dragging through them. Found them. These are the first crappies I've ever caught in here too. First, first time. First time. There's another one. This one feels, I thought it was a bluegill. Nope, another crappie. Decent. See you later, buddy. There we go. This is a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh, he's pooping all over. See you, bud. But you see that, I mean, we've had, what, five or six crappies already in just a matter of minutes on the chicken jig. It was just, we had to find them first. And that's what we spent the whole morning doing. Now I should throw the fly rod out. Now that we found them, could I fly rod that to there? Oh, for sure.
This one's a good one. Oh, jeez. That is the tank that I've been looking for. How big are you, buddy? This guy is a 12 inch on the dot. Oh, I was just about to set the hook. Oh, come on, slab. Show me a slab. Another one. Dang, look at that crappie. Another one. Another one, back to back. Back to back. This is insane. All right. Bring me the big one. Bring me your grandpa. See you later, bud. Big one only. Big one, big one, big one. There was a bite. On. Is it a better one? Looks better. It's like another 12er. Jeez. Come on, stay with me. Don't be doing that. Don't, don't. There we go. Look at that. That guy's really golden, really yellow. Super cool. All right. The one reason I didn't put it away was for when we found the crappie. So, fly rod. Let's do it. Get this rod out of my way. I'm gonna stand here. A bunch of line out. Let's do a little more. It's a lot easier to cast with the wind, let me tell you, holy smokes. You want to be a professional fly fisherman, just cast into the with the wind. All right, here we go. And then I'm just going to pull it nice and slow. Oh, I already had a bite. That was sick. Sink, sink, sink. can't tell any bites with this rod. It's just like way too much, way too much going on. And it's way too windy. Well, we're gonna be calling her a day. Um, ended up smacking a bunch of crappie right here. It took me till like one o'clock to find them and I got out here at like eight roughly. But um, these smaller lakes in northern Wisconsin, guys, if you know the spot, you know, come out here, catch some fish. But if there's a lot of people watching this, just don't come out and take all of the fish. You know, be mindful about it. That's what limits are set for everything else. But, uh, you know, when I'm out doing this and people are like, oh, hey, that's that lake. Well, let's calm it down a little bit. Um, you know, these lakes are pretty small and if a lot of people get on them. They can get fished out. But put what I do to find these fish on the lakes that you guys fish, and you can definitely, you know, catch fish where you're at. Like, I haven't ever pulled a crappie out of this lake. This is, again, first time ever catching a crappie out here. Um, so it was pretty cool, like, um, to be able to come out and say, hey, you know, I'm trying to find that 10, 12 foot area. Um, I've seen crappie in here before, but I've never caught them where we, were, where we started off at. But um, yeah, that's basically what I got to say. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're not subscribed, love it if you hit the subscribe button. And we will see you next time.